Hi folks, welcome back to Flint and Wilderness Resort. Uh, one thing that we get, we get an awful lot of questions about certain things. Our number one question, of course, is the ice out. And that's why we put together that little segment about the ice out. But another question we get is, what do I need to bring? Now, there's some things you have to bring, and there's some things that I would consider a necessity if you're coming up here. First thing that you have to have with you, you have to have a Coast Guard uh, official life jacket. Uh, so make sure that you bring one of these with you. You don't have to wear it, but it does have to be in your boat at all times. The other thing that I highly recommend, especially if you want to go to Flint Lake, now we line our boats down those rapids. You want a good set of waders. Hip waders work. Uh, Bert and I, we prefer chest waders. You put them on and off, you stay nice and dry. It doesn't matter how cold the water is. But those you should have. You don't need the $700 pair. The $100 pair will work fine. The other thing that you really need, especially for walleye fishing, you need a depth finder. Because if the walleye are at 12 feet, they're not going to be at 6 feet. So this is crucial if you want to uh, fish for walleye. Again, you don't need the $1,500 Loran. You can get the Walmart $100 one. All we want with this is to show the depth of water. So that is crucial. Uh, I'm inside of our tackle store here. As you can see, we don't carry a lot of tackle. What we carry are the things that uh, we're definitely going to use. So I'm just going to run over a couple of those things. These are items you can get anywhere. Or if you want, when you come up here, you can get them here. All right, we're going to talk about a couple techniques that we use up here. Basically, four techniques for the walleye fishing. Uh, pretty simple. Um, the first one method that we use, this is a one-off floating jig head. And we carry these and also a number ones. And the way that you hook this up is that you run about a 24-inch monofilament line, you tie directly to it. This uh, hook takes some sort of bait, either a minnow or a worm, and you run this down to a quarter ounce slip uh, sinker, and you troll in reverse. And this thing stays above the ground with some sort of bait on it. This is an excellent way to go for walleye fishing up here. And as you can see, this one's chartreuse and orange. Uh, another method that we use, this is real popular in the spring, and even into now, we're into June. This is a one ounce lead-headed jig. Uh, this rig here, you tie it directly to the jig. Again, you put on some kind of a bait. Either it's going to be a, a minnow or a worm. And this is a cast and retrieve. Very slow fishing. You drag mud with this thing. And uh, this is also a great way to go for the walleye fishing. Now, uh, another method that we use, we use something called a, uh, we call them little joes, but they're spinner baits. Uh, this is what we get from our good friend at uh, World Class Tim Skinner's in Longlac and he treats us pretty well. Um, this is a Little Joe, this happens to be a, a uh, gold and this is basically a split sinker at the end and again another form of bait, either worm or minnow and, uh, and that's a trolling bait. Uh, very good way to go. And one more is with a worm harness, this happens to be a gumdrop floater. Uh, these work very well and of course it's all different kind of worm harnesses with spoons in that. So those are four of the basic ways that we fish up here for walleye, not just on Cloth Lake here, but uh, all the lakes. And again, it's dark water, so you want to get on those colors that I talked about. A couple of the pike methods that we use. Number one, when you pike fish, hey, you want to have a steel leader. It's going to save you a lot of money in tackle. So this happens to be a 9 inch, 9 or 6, it really doesn't matter. I prefer 6 inch. Uh, but you definitely want to have a box full of these. That's going to make a difference. Another way to go, which I think is probably the best way to fish for pike, and again, we get this at our buddy at Tim, at, at Tim Skinner's, and this is a strip-on bait. And the way that you work this is that you actually take a large sucker, 6-8 inch sucker, and you thread this through the fish. And uh, this hook comes off, you end up pulling the shank of the hook back into the fish, and you actually make a live Rapala with it. And it's a great bait uh, to go with. Um, that's probably the best northern bait I think that there is. A couple other things that you want to have when you're northern fishing, you want a jaw separator. Very important. Uh, this way you can keep the jaw open to get the hook out. they got a lot of teeth, and uh, we don't want to get any scars or band-aids. So that's a good thing to have. Uh, the other thing to have is a something to pull the hook out with, so you don't have to put uh, these work great, or they have uh, long needle nose pliers. You want something with at least, you know, 6, 10 inch on it, so you can get right down in there. And this way, if you can release the fish, you're not harming it. And again, no scars, no bleeding. Uh, one, I'm going to go over two, two lures uh, that we use. Uh, very simple. One is a spoon. Uh, we generally go two and a half, three inch spoons. 
I think this is probably the number one northern spoon that there is. It's basically Canadian uh, Canada's Red Devil. Uh, very, very good spoon. The, the pike love these things. And that's great to trolling with or casting. My favorite one happens to be the uh, number five gold maps. I love the action on this thing. You troll just enough and you feel that old blade turning. Uh, they love this. You really don't need the one with the fur on the end after the second pike. Hey, all that's gone anyways. So uh, these are a great bait to have uh, in your box when you come up. So that's just a recap of some of the basic baits that we use. Again, we don't carry a lot of tackle. We just carry the stuff that, that works for the week. So I hope some of this answered some of the questions for you guys. Uh, I, we do get a lot of questions on what kind of tackle that to bring up. Uh, for you guys that haven't been here before, you know, I, uh, this is stuff that you can get anywhere. For you guys that have already been here, hey, you already own all this stuff anyways. So uh, come on up. Bring some of this stuff with you. Bert and I will rig you up. If you have any questions, hey, just give us a call, and, uh, and uh, we'll go over all this tackle again.